Hi guys, so you want to upgrade your Ender, eh? These are the only two upgrades that I suggest you should do ASAP right now to your Ender 3. No, it's not a drag chain. I'm not suggesting you to print uh, a vent cover plate or drawers for your organization, for your tool or tool holders. I think these things, they make, they'll make your workflow a little bit easier, but they're not improving your machine. These two pieces will improve your machine a hundred percent. I try these. I've been running my Ender for about a year and a half without this fan. I just got this fan printed. Um, if you look at this fan, it's the way it's designed. It's, it's made to, to work with your stock Ender fan. So you put your stock Ender fan here. It's gonna have, it has two, two holes, if you can see where the air goes. One comes out this side and the other one comes out this side. And it creates um, a better airflow because this is the stock one that comes with the Ender 3. This is just uh, just blows air randomly underneath the where the nozzle is, uh, underneath the, um, the printing surface or whatever that, that thing is. This one is a little bit... Um, better plan i i really don't understand why the ender 3 doesn't come already with something like this upgraded it doesn't really changes the cost of the machine this is a very simple part to print and a very simple part to install so i i don't see how would that change um the production on the ender 3. another part that i think you should get is this one and remember guys, all the links are below. So you can find the, the parts, you can print them out yourself. You have to use PETG or PETG. Um, so how is this fan better than the one that came with the machine? So the fan that comes with the machine has eight blades and they're a lot larger than this and they love to attract dirt, dust, lint, and they love to rattle when you get it running for a while. Um, this one, the it has 11 blades, and it's they're smaller blades. And what I noticed with this, with this assembly, um, it does create less dust. I've been running this for a while. I I don't I haven't cleaned the this fan area. I remember with the other one, I had to clean it. I always had to constantly clean it. And it was always something rattling in there, like something always gets caught up on those blades. This one I haven't had a problem with. The only thing that you have to do is that you have to sacrifice your Ender 3 fan. You have to snap off all the blades and then slip this on top. And you gotta make sure you, you slip it the, the right direction. Whichever direction your previous one was. Just snap off the blade. You're gonna have something like this, looks like a knob. And then you're just going to slip right over it, over your old fan. And it should hold there snugly. And that's the only upgrades I would do to an Ender 3 that will improve the machine. I, I If you want your machine to look cool, you want the machine to look... Um, um, whatever the, 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 the new thing is with the, with the Ender 3s, you go ahead. But I, I like to do these things... Uh, are functional and they they look OEM to the machine. I like the machine to look as close as from factory as possible. Okay guys, thank you for watching.